is up this is Ben Foggins Media Corner and welcome back to another movie review AK After I Saw and today I'm going to be talking about the 2021 psychological erotic thriller and drama known as Deadly Illusions. Now Deadly Illusions this was written and directed by Anna Elizabeth James and this basically tells the story of this uh, writer named Mary played by Christian Davis who is suffering from writer's block because she's struggling with her own life really like She's like struggling with her job and the relationship with her husband, uh, Tom, played by Devin Mulroney, and as well as looking after her two twin children. And basically what happens is she hires this nanny named Grace, played by Gria Grandma. And what happens is uh, when after she hires this nanny to basically look after her children while she's trying to basically try to figure out a way out how to, she, how to basically write a story, we see... For what the woman Grace is really like, we start to see some secrets behind the scenes of what she's truly like, and we see for the character of Mary figuring a whole lot of craziness and psychological disturbing things that's happening. So that's pretty much the story of Deadly Illusions. Now, for going into Deadly Illusions, um, I didn't even know what this was, was what this movie was going to be like because I never saw much of the trailers. I didn't even know much of the cast except for Chris and Davis from the hitch from the television show Sex and the City, as well as the two theatrical release movies. But I have seen a few other film projects after those, mostly like family comedies, which some of them aren't that, aren't that great. But And you got Devin Marooney, which he's a talented actor. I've seen him in a few things. And uh, I wasn't familiar with the other cast members, like I said. And for the story, um, I didn't even know what to appreciate from its story because the writing, I mean, the story in the film sounded a bit cliched and very familiar to other like erotic thrills I've seen. So I decided to give this a watch because I've heard people t what people were saying about this movie on the internet. And all I gotta say is this movie was just absolutely trash. I just really did not like this movie. I thought this was just, and this is easily one of the one of the worst, and this is probably one of the most boring films I've ever seen ever for a psychological thriller. And this is probably one of the worst thrillers I've ever seen in my life. I don't know if I'll put this in my list of being the absolute worst thriller I've ever seen in my life next to other terrible thrillers I've ever seen in my life but this is definitely definitely a one that's just really bad uh the acting in the movie you got Christian Davis like I said from Sex and the City she really wasn't that great and I thought her acting was very dull and there really wasn't that much like sympathy for her for a character really because she's suffering from writer's block and she's like having a difficult relation she's having a difficult time like she's struggling with her relationship with her husband as well as her two children who are twins and um of course, when it all kind of changes for, changes for her when she hires this nanny uh, who's trying to look after these children, and then there's a whole bunch of like darkness and crazy, disturbing stuff that's happening behind the scenes about this uh, nanny, in which it does show that towards near, near towards its finale of the film, which I won't spoil for you for those who have who haven't even watched the film because this movie only came out a couple of days ago on Netflix this month in March. So, um, <clears throat> but. But yeah, but for her, but again, for her performance in the movie, I thought she just was wasted. And Dumb and Marooney, which he's in there, and he's also in this movie. I just thought he was just, um, he was pretty dull as well in the movie. And for Gr Greer Grammar, who plays uh, Grace in the movie, who's this nanny who's looking after these children, um, I just really don't like her character in this movie. And then towards the end of the movie, it had me. Uh, it was like a, a biggest WTF moment in the in the movie of what she does in the film and and when we find out what she really is what she really is like um it was just obviously what i knew was going to be coming because there are so many scenes that just you can see is coming from coming and going and some direct some directed scenes in the movie when it tries to be like you know a bit very unsettling as well as showing some thrills they weren't really that interest they were even that good to be honest like there are some directed scenes that almost feel like it's a music video sorts where we see the characters of uh, Mary and Grace, who we see them like it's like pictures in like in a fantasy way, and then there's like cut like kind of like almost like blurs or something like that, like like fading in, fading out sort of kind of thing, while it's in the picture. It was like it's like that for for the majority of the film, and even for its finale, which the finale of the film was so bad, it's just it just really goes all over the place, and for its storytelling and writing. It's also extremely bad because there are so many cliched moments in the film. And you can see where it's coming from, coming and going. And 
none of it just really seems that really interesting what, of what's really actually happening in this movie. So, yeah. But in the end, though, Daily Illusions, it was just a really boring movie. It's one of the, it's a really bad thriller and probably one of the worst thrillers I've ever seen. It's again, it's, it wouldn't be my number one worst thriller I've ever seen because I've seen some far more worst thrillers out there. And um, I've heard there's a few more that um, I've heard people talk about, which I like to see, just to see see what they were talking about, because I like to see, I, I just like to kind of see that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, but again, Daily Illusions, this was just a, a really boring film and really bad movie. And But if you're a fan of these kind of movies, this might be one for you. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I've got nothing else really to say about this movie. So overall, I'm going to give Deadly Illusions an F. <sighs> so, um, yeah, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching for my review of Deadly Illusions. Again, it's on, it's, it's on Netflix. It came out on Netflix a couple couple weeks ago, and I didn't watch it when it was released because I didn't even know if I wanted to check it out or not. But I decided to check it out because there's a few because I like to see a couple more films from 2021. So. Yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for my next movie, for my next AK After I Saw review. And this has been Frogman's Media Corner signing off.